says, when you live from the heart, no one forgets what you leave behind. The power of healing broken relationships, how to deal with difficult people without losing your mind. And he said the importance of feminine energy in a male dominated world. Welcome to this first version of Wise Notes, and I'm happy that you've joined us today. We're going to be speaking about a book called Living a Conscious Life. The author is Donald E. Johnson. I recently just did a podcast with Don, and it was wonderful. And the subtitle of this book is How to Find Peace, Wholeness, and Freedom in a Chaotic World. And I think today, more than anything, all of us could use something like this. So the purpose of these wise notes is that within five minutes, you will be able to get the essence of Don's book and make a decision as to whether or not this might be a book that you'd like to read a little bit further and go a lot deeper and actually practice some of the things that he speaks about in the book. So let me give you a quick overview. Um, I'm excited to share insights from this book, Living a Conscious Life. Uh, the book is a rich collection of experiences and teachings from Don, who was a former monk turned corporate consultant. Now, go for that one for a bit. Uh, and executive coach. The book's divided into six parts, each offering valuable lessons on how to find peace, wholeness, and freedom in this chaotic world. So let's delve right into the highlights to this inspiring read with part one for the heart. He says, when you live from the heart, no one forgets what you leave behind. He shares personal anecdotes about living authentically and the impact that it's had on him and others. The story that he tells about his 10th grade teacher illustrates the power of living from the heart and leaving a lasting impression. He also has another cool story in there about a failed vasectomy and how it changed his life. A humorous yet profound tale about how a medical procedure and subsequent events led Don to a deeper self-awareness and acceptance. The Power of Healing Broken Relationships, John's journey of reconciling with his father, and many of us have that issue, highlights the importance of forgiveness and healing and personal growth, and I know you'll love the story. In part two, he talks about nurturing the inner world and how he reclaimed his life after 10 years in what he called a cult, but that's where he was as a monk. Insights into overcoming extreme life situations and reclaiming the power of his identity and his peace. He emphasizes the power of inner strength and resilience. And he also talks about happiness coming from learning to play this inner game. He discusses the concepts of the inner game and how mastering it can lead to true happiness and fulfillment. And he also discusses how to face your limiting beliefs and transform your life. Now, limiting beliefs, we know, can actually hold people back a lot. But he gives you practical steps on identifying and overcoming limiting beliefs that hinder your personal growth. Part three is building meaningful relationships. He says, wisdom begins when you ask this one question. And he says the importance of asking the right questions to foster wisdom and deeper connections in a relationship are one of the most important things, finding the right questions to ask. He said, avoid stupid, ar stupid arguments with verbal Aikido. He says techniques for managing conflicts and avoiding unnecessary arguments through effective communications are something that he speaks about in the book and you'll learn about. You'll also learn about how to deal with difficult people without losing your mind. We all run across difficult people in our life. He gives you strategies for maintaining composure and effectiveness when dealing with challenging individuals, which we've all had. Part four, living a more fulfilling life. He talks about five signs you are making when you're making the most of your life. He says, indicators that you're living a fulfilling life and purposeful life encourages self-reflection 
and continuous improvement. Top secrets for a more meaningful life, he says. Practical advice on how to infuse more meaning into everyday life is also included in the book. And he said the importance of feminine energy in a male-dominated world. Discussing the balances of the energies and the value of the feminine energy in achieving a balanced and fulfilled life. Part five, meditation and spirituality. Five things he learned from 49 years of meditation. I think we all could use that. Key lesson from Don's long-term meditation practice and its benefits for mental clarity and peace. Healthy relationships, he says, begin with finding peace with inside of ourselves. And he emphasizes the inner peace is foundational to building and maintaining healthy relationships. The power of beauty of meditation. He discusses the transformative power of meditation and provides uh, us tips on how to deepen our practice. Part six is navigating the business world, how to get deeper meaning in a world and life and insights into finding fulfillment in professional life and aligning work with professional values. Five simple and powerful leadership principles he talks about and the practical leadership principles drawn from his extensive experience in the corporate world and in his consulting practice. He says how to survive the dark side of the corporate life, strategies for navigating and thriving in the challenging aspects of the corporate life and environments. Overall, this book is a great read. It provides lots of wisdom advice. And he says life is a treasure trove of wisdom, offering practical advice and profound insights for anyone learning to live a more conscious and fulfilling life. Whether you're dealing with personal challenges or seeking to improve your relationships or navigating the complexities of the business world, this book provides valuable guidance. I highly recommend to all our listeners to actually get a copy of this book, listen to the full podcast if you like, and if this five-minute wise note version helped you, definitely go out and get a version of the book. But thank you for tuning in to this version of Wise Notes on this book with Donald E. Johnson called Living a Conscious Life, How to Find Peace, Wholeness, and Freedom in a Chaotic World. Thanks so much and tune in again to our Wise Notes versions.